Hello, welcome to lesson 5-5, five, five, where we are going to talk about the triangle inequality theorem. So we're just talking about one triangle right now. Um, and what does this triangle inequality theorem says? It says the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle must be greater than the third side. Um, so when you do all of this, the simplest way to describe it is if you can say the small plus the medium side must be greater than the longest side. If that checks out, then you can make a triangle if the answer is yes. If the answer is no, that would mean you can't make a triangle. And the reason is if you have two sides that are not longer than the third side, then these two um, sides could not be put together to create an angle to fit the, um, the longest side. So those two sides must be, the sum of them must be added together to make um, a longer length than the third side, the longest side. All right, so here's some examples of that. It says, is it possible for, um, to form a triangle with the side lengths of 6.5, 6.5, and 14.5? So the first time you're just going to say, is my small plus my medium greater than my longest side? So I'm just going to add 6.5 plus 6.5 must be greater than 14.5. So when I add those two together... I get um, 13 is greater than 14.5. That is a false statement. So, because that is no, um, not true, I have to say no. Can't make a triangle. You can do it all three um, separate ways, but if this is yes or no, then you should be good to go. Let's try another one. So remember, my small plus my medium must be greater than my longest side. So here's my small. Whoop, not my small. Here is my small, here's my medium, and here's my longest side. So I'm going to say my small 5.1 plus 6.8 must be greater than my longest side. It looks to be. Um, let's see. I get 12.9 is greater than 7.2, and that is a yes, so I can make a triangle. All right, why don't you stop this um, video, try your two, check your progresses. It's either a yes or a no, and make sure you show your work. Once you're done, you can start the video back. Here are your answers. All right, <clears throat> so now it is asking you, I have two sides of a triangle. Which measure can't the third side be? So remember, I could say um, my small plus my medium must be greater than my largest side. But we don't know which one is the small and the medium. We just know... Um, which one is which. So we need a range of what the third side can or can't be. So to create a range, you are going to need a inequality statement that looks something like this. And you are going to fill in this blank and this blank. So a real quick way, you are going to subtract the two numbers that they give you to find your smallest range, and then you're going to add the two that will tell you um, the highest part of the range. So if I add the two together, 7.2 plus 5.2. So 7.2 plus 5.2 is going to give me 12.4. 
And then if I subtract the 2, 7.2 minus 5.2, and you wouldn't do it in reverse because a side cannot be in a negative. So I'm going to say 2. So what does that even mean? What is this statement right here telling me? It says that this third side must be greater than 2. but less than 12.4. So this statement is really important. So you have to fill in the blanks and it should look like this every single time. You're gonna place your subtracted number here. You're gonna sub place your addition number here. So it can't be above 12.4. So any number above 12.4 I need to know that that couldn't be a third side and any number greater than two so this is greater than two that third side could be seven greater than nine or greater than two and greater than two so d would be your answer that pr cannot be pr that 13 is not in between that range all right Let's see, if you will stop this video and try your check your progress, what is the range of the next one? And 16 would be your answer for the third side not being able to be. All right, and then the last um, example. The towns of Jefferson, Kingston, and Newberry are shown in the map below. Prove that driving first to Jefferson uh, from Jefferson to Kingston, and Kingston to Newberry is a greater distance than driving from Jefferson to Newberry. Well, I know that because those three towns create a triangle, I know that Jefferson to Kingston plus Kingston to Newberry must be greater than my third side, which is Jefferson to Newberry. So because of that triangle inequality theorem, that proves that this must be true. All right, so the big thing, um, the two big things that you want to take away from this is your small plus your medium side must be greater than your largest side to create a triangle. And then the second one is your range of the third side. The, the subtraction number is less than x, which is less than your added number, and that is the range of your third side of a triangle. So that means that that side might be your shortest side, that means that your third side might be your medium side, that means your third side might be your longest side, but in that range, you will have that answer. Um, that third side could be your small, could be your medium, and could be your longest side, but in that range, it will allow you to say that. So this would be your subtracted number, and this would be your added number. All right, that's all I have for your triangle inequality theorem. I'll see you back next time.